tested what the specific symptoms might be. But I think a really important point that a lot of youth are missing is that most of the time STDs don't have any symptoms at all. Right. Um, when you first, oftentimes mm-hmm. when you first get them, sometimes forever. Um, and so that's why it's really important to get tested and to get treated you know as if you're somebody who's thinking about having sex if you're having sex you you need to get tested because you may not always know um just by having a symptom because some people really have no symptoms at all most people don't and how often would you suggest a a team to be tested is that like a once a year thing or so the recommendation is that um youth uh get tested once a year okay. for gonorrhea and chlamydia and HIV if they're sexually active um, and or if they're thinking about having sex. Um, if a youth is, um, you know, changing partners, they have a new significant other that they're having sex with, um, then that's time to also think about doing it more often. Um, right. Or if they, you know, have always been using condoms and then there was a time where, where they didn't, right. they can come in and get tested. Right. Um, so we definitely want to try to do it at least once a year, um, but we can do it more frequently right. um, if there are other reasons to. And again, just to touch on the cost of this for them, is there is there a cost? So that's a great question. Um, and, you know, what, one of the things that we're doing through this campaign is directing people to the website where they can plug in um, their zip code um, okay. on the website and it will tell them a place where they can get free awesome. um, confidential testing. Yeah. Um, and and those um, sites are all throughout the city. So, you know, wherever some a youth lives, they'll be able to find something that's near them if they want to go to a place that's in their neighborhood. If they rather go somewhere else, they can go somewhere Yeah, else. somewhere far away, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing I wanted you to touch on is I was reading also that a, a lot of teens think that they can only get an STD through through intercourse and they don't realize it's through all types of sex. So what are some of the STDs that could be get, that they could get even through oral sex? So that's a great question. And I think that's one of the ways which sometimes we um, fail our young people when mm-hmm. we, we start having these conversations that we don't talk about all the different types of sex. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, the sort of what when people talk about intercourse, what does that even mean? Right. Um, and usually people, when they say intercourse, what they're usually referring to is, uh, you know, when somebody inserts a penis in a vagina. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. But then there's oral sex. Right. Yeah. And then there's anal sex. Um, and then there's, oh you know, people who have, <laughs> you know, have different um, types of partners with different body parts and um, any, you know, any combination of um, having oral sex, anal sex um, or vaginal sex. Yeah. Any of those can transmit an STD. So any of those can transmit HIV. Any of those can transmit gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis, um, herpes. Yeah. So that's why, you know, it's really important to think about protecting yourself and knowing how to protect yourself for any type of sex. And yeah. Not just when people think about intercourse. Right. Do you think this is true? As I've I've heard this, um, that a lot of teens.